welcome everyone. This is our Prodigy plus Google for Education webinar. It's called Making Assignments Effortless because now that we've partnered with Google, we have made making assignments even easier than it was before. Our agenda today is we'll go over introductions of your panelists. And then we'll talk about what is Prodigy, because I know some users might actually not know what Prodigy is. And then we'll go over the add-on for Google Classroom. And then Andrew will talk about the enablement of the add-on. And then, of course, we'll have some time for questions and answers. So hello, everyone. My name is Cassandra haynes -Riska. I'm the Educator Success Specialist here at Prodigy. And I've been teaching for the past 10 years in the states of Connecticut and Florida. Out of those 10 years, I used Prodigy for nine of those years. Now, why am I here? Well, I'm here because Prodigy was my favorite ed tech tool that I used in the classroom, and I saw that it really made a difference with my students. And so now I'm here to help train educators and show them how to use Prodigy the way I did. And so I'll turn it over to Andrew to introduce himself. I'm Andrew Burke. Uh, I'm uh, the I lead the developer relations engineering team at, in Google for Education. Um, I've been with Google for about mm, six years now, and I taught uh, math, computer science, engineering for about fifteen years before that in New York. Um, while I'm not a Prodigy user, uh, I have used quite a few ed tech tools myself. Um, and I uh, happen to also have quite a few family members involved in educational technology. So um, this uh, working in this area is really close to my heart and close to uh, my, my passions as a technologist and as an educator. So very happy to help present. Yes, and thank you for being here. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about what is Prodigy to begin in case you haven't heard of Prodigy before. I'll just take a few minutes to explain the platform. So Prodigy is a standards aligned digital game based learning tool and we have standards available for grades one through eight for math and one through six for English. And I have a quick video showing you the student experience on Prodigy because that's really the heart of what we do. So let's take a look at that video. Let's take a look at the student experience. We'll start with Prodigy Math. On Prodigy Math, students are wizards participating in epic math battles. In order to continue in the game, they must answer math questions. You'll see a helpful hint feature as well as a read aloud button. Students can use the digital tools such as pencils and erasers to solve problems. They can use a mouse, a trackpad, or a touchscreen. There's also digital manipulatives like counters, coins, base 10 blocks, and fraction strips, which means they can keep using the strategies they've already learned in class. Now let's take a look at Prodigy English. In Prodigy English, students collect resources to craft items and build their own village. Taking actions in Prodigy English requires stamina, which is the lightning bolt at the bottom of the screen. When a student runs out of stamina, they must answer questions to gain more. You can see that there's a helpful hint feature as well as a read aloud button. Prodigy English also has a social component because students complete tasks to help their community members. So now that you've seen Prodigy in action, let's take a look at the add-on for Google Classroom. So Prodigy is now available as an add-on for any schools and districts using the Google Workspace for Education Plus or the Google Teaching and Learning Upgrade packages of the Google Classroom. This allows teachers to create assignments within Prodigy right from their Google Classroom. Students can also access these assignments from their Google Classroom as well. So next we'll show a quick video of the Prodigy experience using the Google add-on. Here's how to use Prodigy with Google Classroom. First, create a teacher account. Go to prodigygame.com and click sign up. Click Google. Log in to Google. If you've used Prodigy before, you can link your old account. If you've never used Prodigy before, you can create a new one. Choose your subjects and curriculum. Type in your school's name. Next, import students from Google Classroom. Select your grade level and click Import. 
your class is all set up. Now you can create a Google Classroom assignment. Log into your Google Classroom, click Classwork, click Create, then Assignment. Name your assignment and click Prodigy from your add-ons. Choose Math or English, select the skills for the assignment, select the students you wish to assign it to and click Create Assignment. Adjust your assignment settings if you wish, then click Assign. After that, your students can complete the assignment. Have them log in to Google Classroom. Click the assignment, then play Prodigy Math. A new tab will open and students can get started on the assignment. Finally, you can view the results. Click on the assignment. Click View Results. A new tab will open showing you your students' data. So now that you know how easy it is to use Prodigy with Google Classroom, I'm going to turn it over to Andrew so he can tell you how to access and how to enable the add-on. Andrew, go ahead. Uh, I want to first take a step to talk about sort of what our goal here is. First off, uh, the goal with um, Google Workspace for Education is of course to empower uh, schools and districts to be able to bring the best high quality, high security digital tools to their students. Add-ons are designed specifically to save time and make it easier for students and teachers to discover and access digital learning tools and content. And we're really proud to partner with Prodigy and to bring some of the best learning uh, material that I've seen into Classroom. Um, as Cassandra mentioned, uh, the add-ons are only available to schools within the, that have subscribed to the Teaching and Learning or Education Plus upgrade editions of Google Workspace for Education. You'll be able to get your users uh, working with Prodigy's add-on or any other quite easily. First thing we need to do is install it. And to do that, we, uh, we, we, we do that from Google Workspace Marketplace. There's a listing for Prodigy and the link for that is uh, at the end of this presentation. Um, once you're here at the, Marketplace, at the Workspace Marketplace listing, teachers can choose the individual install option uh, or administrators can choose the admin install option. And the difference there is either installing it for a uh, teacher can install them for themselves and their students, or an administrator can choose to install the add-on for the entire district uh, or uh, for the entire um, Workspace for Education domain. Um, an administrator can also opt to restrict it to only certain organizational uh, units within their domain. After that, as Cassandra showed, uh, uh, in the in one of the videos, uh, you can sign into Google Classroom, and then add an add-on attachment to any assignment. Um, there's a variety of uh, of add-ons available, and as you saw in, in the demo, uh, the Prodigy add-on will walk you through selecting your content, creating your account. As a teacher, you can then interact with the add-on by simply clicking on the attachment. Um, you, uh, the Prodigy add-on shows the, allows you to edit the attachment so you can change the skills, um, change the grade level. You can also review students' performance, um, which opens up in a new tab. So a very quick and very handy way for the teacher to be able to get insight into their students' performance uh, at any time. As a student, uh, they would see essentially the same thing. This add-on attachment box, all they need to do is click it and they're taken directly to their content. Um, I actually recorded these screen recordings just uh, a little while ago, even this morning. And uh, as you can see, it was very easy for me to, uh, to uh, create, uh, create, the, uh, create the attachment, get into it, and simply be able to um, 
to load the content and interact with it right away. There was no drama, no hesitation, no, um, no extra steps that I needed to perform. That's the overview of Prodigy and a little bit about classroom add-ons overall as well. And then we're happy to take any questions that you might have uh, about this integration or about, uh, I'm sure Cassandra can, ask, can answer questions about Prodigy itself too. Yes. All right. So you can scan this QR code to be linked to that Google Workspace Marketplace. And here's a survey to tell us uh, what you thought about the webinar today. So I know anybody who's watching the recording, feel free to participate in this survey as well. And thank you so much for watching and joining today. It's very nice to be partnering with Google. I know as a teacher, I used Prodigy in the classroom pretty much every day. And if you use Google Classroom now, having the the ed tech tool that you love with the ease of the Google Classroom is going to be very, very big for teachers. Haven't used it as a teacher yet, but looking forward to giving it a try. Yes, and Noor, it's free for teachers. Um, the math and English content is available for free. It's no cost for teachers. So go ahead in there, create an account, prodigygame.com, and get started today. Thank you for, for uh, joining us. Um, you know, feel free to go to classroom and explore, and uh, there's lots of um, lots of excellent integrations there. Yes. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, everybody.